Hey guys, so I just got back from the grocery and a lot of my clients do ask me what I typically get every single time I go to the grocery store. And I tell them, but sometimes I don't think they believe me, so what better way to tell them but to show them and you as well. Um, this way I cannot lie. So first of all, I wanna show you the proteins that I get. So nine times out of 10 that I go to the grocery, I do get a big pack of chicken breast. So if I do not eat the chicken while, um, or before it's the freeze-by date, then I will take that remaining chicken, I typically dice it up and then I bag it and put it in the freezer. That way when it's time to cook, I just put it in the skillet with a little olive oil and some seasoning and it cooks right up very quickly. Um, and I all, I don't really like the frozen chicken to be honest with you. It's very thin and it always has just a different texture, different taste. So if at all possible, I always get the fresh chicken. Um, secondly, I do have eggs here. So I get the big 18 pack. Um, and I know eggs, sometimes people question whether or not they're good. Um, obviously all the fat and cholesterol is in the yolk, but studies have shown recently that there are a lot of benefits to eating yolk. You don't wanna eat every single yolk. So I always suggest one yolk to every four to five whites. Um, some men out there and some women can probably tolerate two yolks. I probably wouldn't do more than two per serving. Um, but like I said, there are some benefits to the yolk. So that is a very good source of protein. And then I do actually have the egg white carton. Um, I forgot to get it at the grocery store. So typically I get both, but sorry guys, I forgot to get it. But another protein I have here is, and this is 100% honesty here. I am not 100% perfect. So yes, I do have turkey pepperoni. I don't always get it, but sometimes I'll get it just because um, if I'm in a bind, if I get home late, if I'm um, needing just a little something between clients and I'm at home, then I will make kind of like a quick little uh, pizza wrap. So one of my favorite healthy tortillas or wraps. Sometimes I'll use the flat outs, which I don't have now to show you, but um, if you're a client of mine, you have tried the flat outs, which are very, very good. High protein, low carb uh, flatbreads. This Ezekiel um, tortilla is good. It's not nearly as tasty, but it's better for you. So what I'll do, I'll take one of these and then I'll put a little bit of low fat cheese and then I'll put a little bit of the pizza sauce, sometimes I don't even put the pizza sauce on there, and then I will put the pepperonis, and then I'll nuke it in the microwave, roll it up, and just eat it like that, so it's kind of like a stromboli. Okay, so that brings me to my next thing. Now, I don't do well with a lot of dairy, and many of you know I can't do the whey protein, that's why I do raw protein. Um, so when I do eat cheese, I try to just use a little bit, but I just found this, this brand, and it basically says that it is dairy-free, lactose-free, and casein-free, gluten and soy-free and cholesterol-free. So we're free from everything, all the bad stuff. And six grams of fat, um, seven carbs, one gram of dietary fiber, 90 calories. So I'm gonna give this a try. I will let you know if I like it, if I don't like it, but they had cheddar and then they have mozzarella, so I'm giving the mozzarella a try. Um, and it says that it melts stretchy, so that's the key. Um, but Daya is the brand, so I've never seen it, so I'll let you know how I like it. Um, okay, and then sticking with the dairies. So I know I posted about the Dan and Oiko's Greek yogurt, and one of my friends on Facebook, she reached out to me and she told me that's not non-GMO. And there's some other things they found in that product too that may not be the best. So a better option is Chobani and there's other options that are good too. Um, again, it's all relative. You don't have to watch every little thing and not eat it because it's not non-GMO. But if you're trying to get real picky with it, um, then Chobani might be a better option for you. So I've already kind of dug into that, as you can see. But like I said before, Greek yogurt is so much better for you than regular yogurt because of the protein content. And I always suggest getting the plain, or if the vanilla is under nine grams of sugar per serving, then you can have that as well. Sweeten it with a little stevia and some fruit. It's always a good way to do it. Um, another thing, in the dairy um, group is my Greek cream cheese. So 
I just finished my whipped Greek cream cheese and I always find it at Kroger and it is, and then I just got the block because I couldn't find the whipped, but basically it has a higher protein content and a lower sh or lower fat content. So I love the taste of it. It's better for you than plain cre uh, cream cheese. So look out for the Greek cream cheese. And what else do we have? Oh, my skinny true whip. It's my true love, I'm not gonna lie. Cool Whip, if you guys are Cool Whip lovers, you have to try this. It's in the organic section. I always get it at Kroger. I'm sure other places have it as well, but it is no high fructose corn syrup, no hydrogenated oils, zero trans fat, gluten-free, non-GMO, 100% natural. So, I eat this every single day, I'm not gonna lie. They have the regular and they have the skinny, so I get the skinny. All right, moving right along. All right, so this is another one. See, this is a learning experience for you guys as well as myself because I posted a recipe and I used spray butter. Now that has been the one thing that I have known for years is probably not the best choice. But I don't eat fast food, I don't eat fatty foods, I don't eat fried foods, I don't eat a lot of bad stuff very very little bad stuff so i guess in my way of thinking i thought well because i don't need that crap i can eat this artificial spray butter and after doing some research you guys were right and i was wrong and you know being on here is very humbling so i can admit when i'm wrong so you guys have done it you have done it you have turned me off of the spray butter onto the earth balance okay so and i had it for the first time today and i love it so, and like I said, a little bit of fat's not gonna kill anyone. So, Earth Balance, I got the one that is non-GMO, vegan, soy-free, and it is, yeah, gluten-free, non-dairy. So, again, doesn't get much better than that. So, thank you, ladies, for reaching out the way you did because that's what it's all about here. Okay, and then this is not dairy, but this is kind of in that arena. So I have my almond milk, and I always get the vanilla unsweetened because it's lower sugar, but it still has a good flavor to it. And then I put that on my Kashi Go Lean cereal. Again, I may only eat a bowl of cereal once a week, maybe once every other week. Um, so half the time the box goes to waste because it gets stale, but it's there if I ever have the craving. Okay, and then over to... A little bit well I only have two of these but when you get sweet potatoes at the grocery store if they are not the microwavable wrapped kind they are humongous okay so yes it is a lower glycemic food um, in regards to complex carbs but if you're eating that huge big sweet potato in one sitting then you've just knocked that glycemic index the the good glycemic index and you doubled or tripled it so it's basically off the charts and it's just as bad as if you were to eat a white potato. So make sure you you stick to the small ones that can fit in the palm of your hand. Okay. All right. And we are moving to my Ezekiel bread. Since I showed you my Ezekiel uh, tortillas, I do eat this Ezekiel bread. I get the low sodium. Um, I probably have minimum one maximum two slices a day um and i was doing the spray butter on it before but now i do a little bit of the earth balance um sometimes i'll do the greek cream cheese i know a lot of people that do avocado on it i myself do not care for avocado so i stay away from it but um nothing wrong with it i mean i wish i did like it so that's just kind of how i eat that and let's move to the veggies so i always have Frozen vegetables, I just get the French style, sometimes the Italian style green beans um, in the freezer section. There's nothing to it, but I just keep it in my freezer for those, those nights that I get home really, really late and I'm starving and I need something quick. So I'll just put it in the skillet with some seasoning and a little bit of like olive oil or something, you know, it always changes, some soy sauce, whatever I'm feeling like, and it cooks up very quickly, it takes five minutes and it's done. So, and, Another thing I'm excited about is it seems like the past two weeks my clients have given me homegrown garden fresh veggies, which I love. So it's another perk of the job. 
Um, but thank you very much, ladies, for this. So I have a fresh zucchini and I have a fresh cucumber. So those will be going in my salad and I'll make that zucchini up in a stir fry. And then I got myself, I got an onion. I always get the sweet Vidalia onion. Um, I got a pepper, green bell pepper, to go with the fresh peppers that I got from another client of mine in her garden. So I don't know how spicy these things are, but you know, the spicier the better in my opinion. So I will make that with some chicken. I think I'm gonna make Mexican one night and I'll probably do, and that's also why I got this salsa. Salsa is a very good thing to have as just a little bit of a pick-me-up to a meal. So I know a lot of people that put on their eggs to spice it up. Um, if you do like avocado, that's a good combination too. Um, so there's a lot of different things you can do to jazz up the taste of a meal without adding a lot of extra calories. Salsa is a very good way to do it. And it doesn't really matter. You can get the off brand. I mean, I, I like so many different types of salsa. I don't really suggest one over the other. So, and then my salads, I always get this large bag of kale. So it doesn't matter what brand. I typically get the glory just because that's what they sell at Kroger. Uh, make sure that you take the stems off, otherwise you might break a tooth trying to gnaw on a piece of kale, and that would not be good. And then I get carrots, I chop up carrots, and then like I said, I'll use that cucumber. And then I get the broccoli slaw, which I love. Um, I have bagged pistachios that I always put in there and my salad toppings, I think I showed you in another post. Um, and then I always put hot banana peppers, so I just get whatever the cheapo brand is, to be honest, they all taste the same. Um, and protein bars. You know, I love my Cliff Builder bars and these taste exactly like Thin Mint Girl Scout cookies. So pretty much every day I have one. All right, and I'm not gonna lie, I told you this is 100% honesty. So the very last thing I have to show you is, yes, people, a big bottle of Bacardi. Now, I do not condone drinking to excess, but everyone needs a little bit of a cool down, a little bit of a relaxation. So if that's the way that you wanna do it, I'm gonna show you a nice, healthy, healthier way to do it. You know, so many people think that drinking has to be terrible. And yes, I mean, it's extra calories. So if you know you're gonna go out drinking, you need to make sure that you are looking at your calorie intake for the day. So, I suggest getting, and I think, I don't know if I took my lemons out. I don't know what I did with those bad boys, but um, I bought, oh, here they are. So I bought lemons as well that I did not show you. And sometimes I'll get berries, but to be honest with you guys, I do not eat a lot of fruit. When I was working at my cardiac job, apples, I would eat an apple a day or like a cup of berries every single day, um, just because it was quick, but I find that I do have a little bit more time to come home and I can eat boiled eggs or something like that, and I, I prefer that over fruit. So sometimes I'll eat fruit, sometimes I won't. But um, so basically, back to the drink. I will cut this in half, and if you guys have never seen these citrus juicers, I suggest that, even if you're not doing an alcoholic beverage. This is a good drink just to have non-alcoholic. So I will, well, I'll use half or sometimes the full lemon. So I'll juice that, it basically takes the seeds out, toss the seeds, just pour the juice into a cup. I add water and then I add my true lemon. So this is basically a natural crystal light. So it, has, it doesn't have that aspartame or sucralose, the bad sweetener, it uses stevia. So it's natural, it doesn't hurt your belly. So I put that in there and then I put, my Bacardi. Sometimes I'll do Tito's. Um, it just depends on how I'm feeling, but to me, they kind of all taste the same. So I basically do that and, you know, again, I'm not gonna lie. I got my cocktail right here. So refreshing and I'm staying home tonight so I can drink if I want to. If you guys have any questions at all about anything, please holler. I would love to help and Remember, it's all about honesty, so you ask me, I will be honest with you.